See, never lecture to each other. Even you know better, tell him, you know, I took this course, I'm a psychologist. You are what? You are an engineer. I want to teach you psychology. <laughs> you lose him completely. Even your son, if you tell him, I'm a psychologist, I want to teach you what is psychology. Tell you, mom, you want to teach me psychology? Go and teach it somewhere else, not to me. Even your sons and daughter will tell you that. And therefore, the other thing, never, ever, ever talk to each other with logic. Yeah, you are educated and he is educated. Yes or no? I said, husband, wife, family, relation, no logic. Would you know what is logic? I'll ask you a question. You answer me in a fast sentence. Doesn't need thinking. One plus one? Zero. Two minus two? Zero. So both of you are failure in your family relation, God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're successful, but I'm saying. If you use the idea of one plus one to each other, husband, wife, is equal to two? One. Zero. Never ever talk to each other, a family, except the concept of love and affection, sympathy, concern, and shura. Honey, sweetheart, is it okay to do this? Is it not okay to do this? But to say, he made a mistake. You tell him, don't you know this is a mistake and this is not the truth? His shaitan loophole come to him to harass you. Don't you know I know better than you? He shout. Uh, it's not he. His shaitan is shouting at you. So never ever talk logic. Even if he's wrong, don't tell him you are wrong. Then shaitan comes and harass you. So one plus one can be equal to three, four, five, hundred, <laughs> one hundred, who cares? You, th you think if he's out of his mind, you think if he's out of his mind, your whole world is going to worry about his uh, mistake? No one. The only one to worry you. And you are to correct him, his shaitan comes to you to harass you, so you are in trouble. So. Let him talk illogical, one hour, two hours, who cares? <laughs> Put it in the garbage without telling him. Means all what you are saying, nonsense, in the garbage, I don't care. But don't tell him I don't care, I'm in the garbage, you'll be in trouble. <laughs> tell him, I mean, let him talk nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. Yes, 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 yes. So what? But isn't that a lie like he's saying? Honestly. Is it not true, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us for family ties and relationship, there is no harm to, to lie to each other in order to keep them together? Because shaitan comes to you, what can I do? Who told you to allow shaitan to enter to your house? I said, shaitan, enter your house, as I said uh, one hour ago or half hour ago. <coughs> Either we don't pray five times a day, or we don't read Quran, and we don't read those surah ayat kursi and the others and the other. And we, when we enter, we didn't say, a'uzu billahi minash shaitan rajim. And when we entered the house, we did not say, assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi salihin to the angels who are taking care of my house. And all the uh, good things I'm not practicing, so shaitan is inside my house. So it's not, there is no harm of lying to your husband or the husband to the wives in order to keep peace for the time being. And Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave us that permission because in order to make family counseling and arbitration and reconciliation and whatnot, there is no harm at that moment only. But it's up to you. I mean, the, my love for you is never talk to each other with logic unless you are doing something else. And even logic to logic sometimes work, but sometimes doesn't work. So suppose I said two minus two, you said equal zero. No. Suppose there was an argument between you and your husband, and then later on you told him, I forgive you. And he said, I forgive you. You think after a week or two or a month, he will not come and tell you, remind you of that mistake? Don't you remember last year you said this and this? Your honey, sweetheart, didn't we say, I'm sorry? And you said, I forgave you. Why in the world you are bringing it again and again? Because two minus two will never, ever be zero. There is precipitate. And shaitan will come and pick it up after a year and remind him to remind you to harass you and harass him both at the same time, and he bring it later. So two minus two may not equal to zero at all through our life history. But if shaitan bring it back, don't you have a shock absorbance? Say yes, I'm sorry. Say again, I'm sorry. So what? I will say to you, I'm sorry. But man, to say sorry to sister? Huh? Not only to wife, even to a sister in the street, in the community? Yes, you have to crush yourself, and I have to crush yourself. I have to tell you, sister, I'm sorry. Would you kindly forgive me? In public. 
everyone has to crush his ego in public and say, I'm sorry to the sisters if I have said anything to you. It's up to you if you want to forgive me or not. If you forgive me, you get credit. If you don't forgive me and you make mistake, you go to Allah, Allah will tell you, I will not forgive you. <gasps> Why? He said, because you did not forgive Dr. Saka. No? One for one, <laughs> go and forgive him, I'll forgive you. See, in this way, I try to help myself and help everybody. Both parties have to be humble and crush their ego in front of Allah Subhanahu. I'm sorry to uh, we started too. I mean, we kept you too much on this idea. We told them about it. Yeah, we told. Now the other thing, counsel. Do you want to continue or take a break? Five minutes? Or I didn't. I'm not tired. If you are tired, we we'll give you a break. Fine. Okay.